Good morning everyone and welcome to the weekend vlog. It is bright and early, the sun is not even up yet. I'm heading up to my mother's house right now. Funny story, the other day me and Amanda were driving right here and a rooster was crossing the road, a chicken was crossing the road, it was right here. And I'm like, Amanda, chicken, 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 chicken. And she looked up and the thing flew up in the air and flew out of the way. So the leaves are in full changing colors right now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. They're not really that bright yet because it's 6.30 in the morning still. 6, 6.42 in the morning, but they're changing. Nonetheless, these trees are changing. They're getting ready to get naked for the winter because we all know trees like to get naked for the coldest months of the year. So the sun is just starting to make its way through the trees right now. The birds are waking up for the morning. It is freezing out right now. There is frost on the ground. I mean, look at the lawn. There's frost all over it. Frost all back there cold enough to see your breath that's for sure so today on the agenda I have a couple things that I need to get done one of them is over here so I don't know if you can see but the telephone pole telephone pole clothesline see look at look at all the frost so the clothesline needs to needs to stand up straight if you can see it's going that way and that's what straight is. So that's gonna be the project for today around here, but it's uh, hunters hunting right now because it's open season. I don't know, open season for what? I don't think it's deer yet, but they're hunting for something. So I'm gonna wait till it warms up, finish letting the dog out. Was gonna let the cat out, but he had a little incident yesterday morning, tiger. See him? He, he's dying to get out right now. So we had an incident yesterday morning where I usually let them out and he walks around and he was walking and he, he started going over there and they have a pit bull. And the pit bull barked. The cat went flying over there, hopped over the neighbor's fence. I had to go freaking chasing the cat around at like 6.30 in the morning. It was not fun. So he was in time out for the rest of the day. Give him a little longer in time out before he is released back outside. Just looking at the look on his face. Yeah, I'm trying to fool us, you're not innocent. Finish letting the dog out, head back home, get the Saturday evening rant uploaded, and then once it warms up, I will pick it back up. So I'm not sure if you guys were able to tell, but I have different sunglasses on today. I've been wearing the same style of sunglasses. They're, they're basically shatterproof work safety glasses. I've been wearing these since I started riding a motorcycle. These are an old pair. The hinges are just, they're shot. They're absolutely shot on these glasses. And the other ones I have, these are like stretched out. They don't even fit my head anymore. But I don't even know where my other glasses went. And this is the only pair I have at my house. I don't know when I'll be able to get construction work safety glasses again. The reason why I like these sunglasses so much is because they're shatterproof. So I can wear them if I'm doing work around the house, if I'm doing work on a machine. I can wear them when I'm on the motorcycle. I don't have to worry about a, a piece of something flying up and breaking these glasses. Look at the view out there. Look at the view out there. Look at those trees glowing, absolutely glowing. In the autumn sunlight, the vibrancy of the colors of the trees, the, the colors that these trees present is just something you don't really see anywhere else in the world. We're coming up right now on the famous County Line Field. This is a place, when I was younger, many a nights I spent with my friends, or many a days I spent with my friends off-roading and driving around. And You see, it's just a giant open field that almost Almost appears, almost appears, almost appears as if there is snow on. Put the window down because I know there's a America. But it almost appears as if there is snow on the grass. That is not snow, that is frost. And when I was younger, that solar farm was never there. There used to be woods and that trail. And me 
and my buddies would go off-roading there. I'd take my Jeep. My buddies would take their Jeep. I'd take my truck. I, you know, we'd all meet up there. That Some of them would have dirt bikes. Some would have quads. We'd all meet up there and hang out. And I'm going to have to go on a whim here and say that it is a bit too cold for ice cream at just 31 degrees. This is why I loved living out here because just the drive into town every single day is just filled with beauty and awe. You get to get to pass all this stuff. And what's this guy doing up here? What's a what's a waterworks guy doing? What's he doing? I don't know, but it, it's early. All right, so it's just coming up on noon now. I got all my stuff done that I needed to get done. I just got back. I had to go for a quick ride on the bike to the bank and up to my mom's house to let the dogs out again. So I'm going to probably play some Xbox for a little bit. Amanda's gonna be getting out soon. All right, so about three hours has passed. Amanda was supposed to be out by now, but she had a walk-in, so she ended up taking the new client. So I've been playing Titanfall all afternoon or for like the past two hours. That game is a lot of fun. That's a game that I never picked up when it came out. I didn't really get that game until I think it was last year. They had some like sale that was like $10 for the game and you could get all the DLC with it. I'm gonna go up to my mom's house now, let the dog out, feed them dinner, and then probably get myself some dinner or I don't know, do something. Cause I, I didn't even have breakfast. I didn't have lunch yet today. I didn't do anything. Been running around all day trying to get stuff done. And so I just got to my mother's house. I grabbed the mail outside and believe it or not, look at this. They're already pushing Christmas into the household. It's already been in the store for months now, but now it is coming to a house near you. It could be coming to your house, but Christmas is on its way. So we got Amanda in front of me. She's finally out of work now. We're headed back to my house. We're gonna have some dinner real quick. All right, so with Amanda now, finally. My allergies are killing me. I don't know if you can see my eye is watering and edgy and red. And we had some loaf made of meat, meatloaf for dinner and going to let the dogs out right now. Sorry today was kind of we're going to make up for that tomorrow, so I'll see you in the morning. Why is it so orange out right now? It's so weird. It is 11. 11 degrees warmer than it was yesterday at this time. It's Sunday morning right now. I am heading up to let the dogs out and feed the dogs breakfast. I left the other camera at the house because I was kind of in a scramble because my alarm didn't go off at six o'clock like I said it and I didn't wake up and yeah, so it's like 6.30 right now, 6.39, so I'm gonna go up there, feed them, and then I don't know what is going on today. Fury out right now, huh? Adjust the rabbit ears. It's all fuzzy. The rabbit ears? Moon, where are you? Moon! Mr. Moon, where are you? Mr. Moon! I just seen you. I seen you with my eyes. Where is it? It was just there. It was just there. It was just there. I don't know where it went. No one's playing baseball right now. No one's playing soccer. No one's playing anything because it's bright and early on Sunday morning. Moon, moon, moon right there. It's all the way back there. It's all the way back there. 
All right, so it's 925 right now. I have to head to the gas station because I have low fuel. Is it low fuel? Do I have low fuel? Am I running low on fuel? Look at those clouds up there. Those clouds are moving quick, huh? I'm stopping to get some gas real quick and we'll continue it from there. So a little over half a tank of gasoline for $28. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's like 60 bucks to fill the tank. Thankfully, gas has gone down quite a bit and $28.02 will get you a decent amount of gasoline. You might ask yourself, why the random increment? Well, that's because I got my good friend Arnold Palmer with me. Say hello, Arnie. And I also have this. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this, but I, I stumbled upon it the other day and I'm hooked. It's like crack cocaine for cats. I am hooked. It is called Energia. 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 It is called Energia. And honestly, if you were to blindfold me and hand me two glasses, one containing that and one containing Red Bull, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So we are heading through the industrial part of Holyoke right now, just over the highway, the highway that claimed eminent domain over this land. There, you will see a bunch of poop. There is a bunch of poop in those round containers. There is a ton of poop. Sewage. Nasty, nasty poop. And if you drive by here in the summer with your windows down, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. The river is still considerably low for this time of year. Don't get me wrong, it is a lot higher than it was about a month ago, but by a lot higher, I mean a foot. The river has barely even gone up a foot. So we are headed over to the Falls of Chicopee. Well, not really the Falls of Chicopee, but the industrial parking lot that is the Chicopee Center. Anywho, I will be there in one minute and I will show you guys why we are venturing over there in that minute. This guy's house has the nicest collection of VW bugs ever. This guy legit has like 10 Volkswagen Beetles in his driveway. He has like three buses. It is just awesome. Our destination for this morning, or for right now, lies in this plaza. No, our destination is not Walmart. However, it is a large chain nonetheless. Yes, our journey on a Sunday morning in fall has led us here. What am I doing here, you might ask yourself? Well, that is a simple question to answer. I have to fix the clothesline in my mother's backyard, as I was telling you yesterday. And to top it off, I had asked her to get some cement. I made the mistake of asking her to get the cement and not getting it myself. So, instead of getting cement, she got cement patch which isn't really the same thing if you aren't familiar with the works of cement. I'm gonna go into Home Depot right now, get some proper cement. I'm leaving the camera in the car. My phone is charging because that is dead. I had to use that this morning because I forgot this camera. So I will be back in a second because I don't want to be that weirdo carrying around two bags of cement and a camera. I got the cement, as you can see. One of the bags was open and I got it all over myself. One other thing that I found, not found while I was in there, but my glasses, my actual glasses. So the funny story is I looked everywhere for these things and I couldn't find them. I gave up looking for them. It was at that point in time that I grabbed my other glasses from the back porch and started wearing those with the broken hinges yesterday. On sitting down at the dinner table last night, I sat on these glasses. Somehow they managed to get underneath the cushion that was on the chair. And now I messed up the hinges on these and they aren't sitting on my face right. So. Yay, I ruined these glasses by not being able to find them. Here we go, coming up on them. Coming up on them. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that. All right, so back up at my mom's. This is what I just did. Got these staked out to keep these level. Like the holes out. There's a lot of army activity going on today. I don't know if you can hear the marine helicopter just went over that way there. Got 
my two bags of cement mix and I'm gonna mix this up and fix these holes. Just, just finish this up. Got both poles done. That's in there. It's plumb, level, straight, whatever you want to call it. It looks a bajillion times better than it did before. So put my stuff away. No, I'm not collecting boxes. That is just stuff that I have to bring to the dump and I haven't gotten the chance yet. All right, all cleaned up. Amanda is on her way over. I'm just getting ready real quick. We're gonna go out somewhere and do something because it is a beautiful fall day right now. I got everything I had to get done done for the day except for uploading the weekend vlog. Alright guys, so change of plans, um, my father went up to Hadley and he does this once a year. Now up in Hadley what he does is he basically fills the back of his truck with potatoes and squash and pumpkins and all different things that are ready in the fall. So he makes one trip a year and we're good with potatoes usually till about February or March and they're ridiculously cheap. They're, they come in 50 pound sacks. So needless to say I had to help him move all that stuff downstairs and it got tied up for a little bit but I'm back up at my mom's house right now. She's going to be coming home later. So we picked up a box of this Red's Apple Ale. We're going to drink that right now and enjoy this fall day outside. What are you doing? Guys, we're just about to leave my mom's house right now. It's about 5.30. I'm gonna go fly the drone real quick. So we're just leaving the park now. I hope you guys enjoyed the drone footage. I'm sorry I didn't put any more of it in the weekend vlog. I just didn't have time to get out there and fly Icarus around. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I will see everybody tomorrow for Moto Monday. Peace.